Okay, hello everybody, and Ellie here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. No, not a usual video gaming, and not with anybody else, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your own fidget spinner out of Legos. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you all the parts you need, and then I'll start, the, then I'll start showing you how. So, you need, you need one of these, which is a bar that has, like, um, it's like a crossbar, it's made out of Legos, it's, looks like that. I don't know how well you can tell what that looks like, but you need one of those. You need two of these. I'll hold it up so you can count for a little bit how many how many of the buttons, I think, is what the studs it has on it. Okay, you need two of these. You need two two caps. It can be these can be any color. Any of this can be any color you want. I just didn't mind gray and black and a little bit of orange so that it looked nice. These these are just clear orange ones. These can be any color. Some they can be solid if you want. But basically they're just four and they're rounded on the top and smooth. And you need two of those. Next you need two two cylinder two tall cylinder or two medium sized cylinders about this big just like that two of them and then you need four of these any color you want mine is mine are black and gray but they can be any color my friend one my friend made one with all the primary colors so that when you spin it it looks like a rainbow <laughs> All right, so guys, now what you have to do is you take you take one of these, and then on this where you see these four right here. Oh uh, wait, these four that stick out right here. You want to take an eight by two. All right, hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> you want to take an eight by two and stick it right in the middle of each edge. So, just like that, all around the edges. So, here, 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 and here. Alternating colors, I guess, is up to you. Please just. So when you've got this, you'll have the you'll have this little area in here. Place your other circular one. Make sure you line it up how you put the ones on the bottom on. Clip clip it on there just like that. So now you have something that looks like this. Make sure it's centered too. See how you can't see the back one? You can't see the front one. All right. Now take take your black or whatever color. Take your black or whatever color bar and put it down in the middle. It will go all the way through, or it should if you've done it correctly. Now you can spin it, and that's like the base of your fidget spinner. Take one of these and make sure this part. Is pointing outwards and put it onto your fit onto the bar of your fidget spinner. You can take your fidget spinner or your um, bar out of the fidget spinner to start with, just to make sure just to make sure you can put on the first end. Then take the orange or whatever color cap you have and put it. It will now click onto the end of end of this just like that. So now you have something that looks like that. Alright, you can go ahead and put it back in here. Back into your base of the fidget spinner. And you want to redo the same thing on the other side. Putting it like this. And sliding it on. Make sure you push those two in all the way. So that it'll be like that. 
Now this won't be the best, but I thought since you can make your own if you don't have the money to go buy it, buy one. And it also looks pretty cool when it spins. There are other designs for Lego fidget spinners around the world, around the around the internet, on YouTube and other places and stuff like that. There's some really good ones. I'm not gonna credit them because I don't feel I don't feel like it. Um, and I didn't get this idea from anyone. But um, one thing you could change is probably the size of the bar that you use. Because if you see mine right here, there's a little bit of like an opening. I got too big of one. By the way, sorry for the noises in the background. My cousin, my cousin stayed over, stayed stayed the night for this weekend, and he has a really weird notification system. <laughs> so um, it's a little bit hard to spin with one finger, but you can kind of do it. up and down or you can just spin it with the other finger i think it gets it gets pretty fast i don't know what the exact tabletop spin time is but i don't i'm not gonna test it either maybe i'll post another video on it um but well that's your tutorial for today on how to make a lego fidget spinner hope you guys enjoyed